Hi YouTube, my name is Jürgen and welcome back at ProHerper. Today I will introduce you to a new test that we have developed here at ProHerper and this time it's the Hurricane test. Hurricane is a very cool gene that originated here in Europe. Uh, it was actually Hans Winner from Germany who first discovered the Hurricane gene and I think many people have been working with it. It's a really cool gene. So first I will show you some Hurricane combos and how to identify. It can be quite subtle, so if you don't really know what you're doing it's best to use the test, so that's actually also why we developed the hurricane test. And then I will also take a deep dive into the data and show you whether or not hurricane and trick are actually the same. So let's just dive into it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm first going to show you what hurricane looks like and I don't have a single gene hurricane so this is the closest that I have to a single gene hurricane and this is a spot nose hurricane, it's also a hut clown and so um, unfortunately I also don't have a regular spot nose to compare to but as you can see first of all spot nose hurricanes really have this really funky head stamp as compared to regular um, spot nose and then of course the name of hurricane is derived from or at least that's where I think Hans uh, derived the name from um, is from the fact that they always seem to have these circles uh, within their pattern and especially these weird yeah things that are going on here here especially you can see some of the stretches here so you see that the, the alien heads and of course this is a spot nose so it's not as pronounced as it would be with a regular hurricane um, but it's it's very different from a like regular hurricane also the or regular spot nose sorry also the color is completely different so you can see that the black is much more intense black so much more contrast to this animal so in fact hurricane really brings a lot to the table um, I really like it gene the gene it's it's quite subtle in some combos but it can also be very powerful especially in clown when you want to go to this very busy uh, clown combinations so and this is a baby from this year and then I can also show you this one and this is a fire hurricane clown female uh, again she has this nice head stamp uh, very busy patterned clown uh, nice sides here so hurricane clowns typically have these very nice flaming um, on the sides here so you can see all these yeah, flames uh, generally speaking, they're uh, very bright and, and usually white uh, in terms of color. So this is a female from last year. I think she's somewhere close to one kilogram already. Um, very pretty female also, so maybe I will be able to breed her, who knows, uh, in the upcoming season already. Okay guys, so here you can see the data. Um, and let's just dive right into it. So what we did was we used 20 sheds from 20 super hurricanes so these are homozygous animals and all of them came from Hans Winner uh, so big shout out to Hans Winner from Germany uh, who is also the one who actually imported and developed the project um, so the hurricane project as you can see we have here animals labeled in green so these are actually the animals that were labeled by breeders um, as hurricane animals so once we have a mutation from our test we need to go back to the lab and we need to go and validate it and we need to figure out if the mutation we identified actually matches with these green animals here um, and so as you can see these animals that are labeled as a hurricane came back as a hurricane um, so you can see all of these nicely um, and then we also tested some here in red and so these are the negative ones so they were not uh, hurricane and as you can see they also came back negative um, unfortunately there was one animal here that turned out to be negative um, and so this is why we contacted the breeder and he also actually confirmed that his animal even though he believed that it was hurricane at the start he now believes that it's also not a hurricane anymore 
um, even before he got this negative result um, with the test back. So this really confirms that in fact uh, the test is working and we can pick out the negative animals uh, as you would expect. So this is actually, yeah, uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit now so you can see we tested about uh, two dozen hurricanes here um, and all of the matches match nicely except for the one animal I just discussed um, so you can see all these animals were tested uh, and then moving on to the trick animals so as you can see I labeled them slightly different here there was one possible trick animal which was in uh, orange um, and then the other one are in a slightly different color and as you can see all these animals actually turned out to be uh, positive for hurricane except for this possible trick animal which was negative and so I think that this confirms that uh, hurricane and trick are actually identical genetically speaking so these trick sheds were collected from three different animal breeders uh, here in Europe um, and so as you can see um, they all tested positive for a hurricane as you would expect if it would be the same so this really indicates that they are the same so as you have seen hurricane and trick are actually identical genetically speaking so the people in the US are also going to check whether or not blitz also fits into that spectrum so if it's also the same or not can we pick it up with the same test yes or no unfortunately I don't have any blitz tests but Guys, please keep in mind that Hurricane and Trick and Blitz, I mean, even though they all look the sim very similar and actually some of them now have been proven genetically the same, I think we really need to thank Hans Winner for all his hard work. Uh, he really did a great job at introducing and working a lot uh, in or at this Hurricane project. So I guess it's thanks to him that we now are where we are, that so many people are working with Hurricane or Trick or maybe even Blitz and it's absolutely an amazing gene and I really want to thank him for collecting all these sheds and making it possible to develop this test um, and also for really investing so much time and effort and energy into developing a project like that. I think that's really something you need to do if you want to prove out something like that and work with it long term. Uh, we really need to see the potential sometimes because some of these genes can be very subtle and it can take a long time before you actually start to see some really potential coming through. And I think once we figured it out, once we went to the super hurricanes, we went to the super hurricane clowns and the bites and whatever, I mean, this is when the potential really start to show. And this is also why we need to thank Hans uh, for his major contribution to this hobby. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I will also be doing uh, other videos about whether or not other genes are the same, other morphs are the same gene, yes or no. In the near future, I will showcase some of my animals I produced here. So if you're new to this channel, um, you can leave a like, leave a comment, whatever. Um, and also let me know what you think about Hurricane and Trick being the same. Thanks a lot, guys. See you guys next time. Goodbye.